So you may have just picked up one of the newest Macs, whether it was a Mac Mini or if it was a MacBook Pro or it was the M4 iMac. Now there are some really cool tricks and tips that I'd recommend just kind of throwing at you just to kind of see whether you want to just turn them on. There's a lot of cool power and a lot of cool capability behind these new Macs. So I have the M4 MacBook Pro right here. I have the M4 iMac right next to it and I have the M4 Mac Mini. And I promise you these tips are probably some of the ones I'd recommend just kind of enabling as soon as you go ahead and kind of just pick up your Mac. As always though, keep your Macs in good condition. Make sure you don't spill water on them or anything like that. And if you're planning on reselling these in the future on a MacBook Pro, just make sure you're keeping the display clean. Same thing with the iMacs. And just make sure on the Mac Minis, you don't randomly just scratch up the front or the back sides with all your ports and you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the coolest thing now within macOS Sequoia is iPhone mirroring. So basically what iPhone mirroring is, is that we have the capability of basically displaying whatever we have inside of our iPhone on our Mac. But it's not just that. We can also completely control our iPhone from our Mac. It's not just that though. Even if our Mac or in our iPhones are in different rooms and they're just all over the place, we can completely control our iPhone from our Mac from you know wherever we are as long as they're connected. So one, just make sure your iPhone is on iOS 18. Make sure you're on Mac Sequoia, which if you have an M4 Mac, you already are. And make sure you're logged into the same Apple IDs on both. So as long as that's the case, what you can then do is you can actually make your way over into your iPhone mirroring application. So the iPhone mirroring application you can get inside of your launchpad, it looks like this. It's already built in inside of your M4 Mac, so you don't have to do anything else. It's already built right in. So then what you can do is you can go ahead and open up this app. And when you do it, it's going to prompt you into basically logging in and kind of setting up your Mac and your iPhone together. But then after that, you'll be able to see your iPhone actually come up on the display. So just like the iPhone I had before, now I can completely control my iPhone just like this. But I can also go through and I can completely, you know, open up my applications on my iPhone just like this. I can, I can't full screen it yet, which is insane. But I can go through and use my iPhone as I normally would which is so cool. Now it's still a little buggy, it's not perfect, but this is a fully fledged iPhone right now that I have on here. It's not just any iPhone, it is my iPhone that I have on my particular device. So that is in and of itself a really, really cool thing. I still have the escape button, still kind of works for the most part as well, but for some reason I just can't hop out, which is kind of annoying, but that is a really cool thing. And on top of that, another cool thing that goes along with this is your iPhone notifications. You can also get your iPhone notifications to come up on your M4 Mac as well. If you have an Android, you can just skip this, but under your settings application, if you click into notifications, which is right here, you'll see a little option that says allow notifications from iPhone. You can actually go through and now get all of your iPhone notifications right inside of your you know, Android, which in and of itself is another really, really cool thing, which I love a lot. So that in and of itself is a really cool thing going on for these devices. Now, on top of that, we now also have a dedicated game mode now on our iPhones or on our iPhones and on our Macs. So what this means is that on your M4 Mac, as long as you, like I said before, are on Mac OS Sequoia and all that, you can go through and you can enable game mode. So I think this is already enabled, but whenever you're playing a game, you should have an option that will allow you to go through and enable game mode. And this will allow you to go through and essentially get a little bit more power inside of your PC. It'll kind of improve the, you know, decrease the latency of your Mac as well, which is a really cool thing. So you'll notice that when you're playing a game, I guess there's not an option to kind of mess around with it here, but you do have that type of capability otherwise. Now, on top of that, we also have a really cool new feature called window tiling. So it's now easy window tiling. Windows have had this for a little bit of time, but if you want, if you actually want to check this out, this is really cool. So now if you want to go and just quickly have multiple different you know, tiles across your whole entire window display, what you can do is you can just go through and you can move around your display and your, you know, uh, you know, your thing as many times as you want to. But if you actually press down into your uh, green you know, icon right here, the top third one right here, or you don't even have to press it down, you can just highlight over it just like this. You can actually choose whether you want it to move to the side, the right side, the top left, or you can just go through and have it fit inside of a dedicated window right like this. So if I want it like this, I can just go through and have it up there like this if I want to. And then I can go through, open up a different application. Let's say I want news to open up. I can open up news. And then what I can also do is just do the exact same thing. I can click right here. I can have this window at a different window here. So I can just choose this one to be up here and I can just keep customizing it. Now, not every window will look beautiful. As you can see, these ones are kind of like not the best, but they still kind of work. 
And you can do it even other ways too. I can do it like this way if I want to. And it is a really nice thing, depending on the Mac, depending on which device you have and the display size, it'll look a little bit nicer. But it's just an easy way of just kind of tiling your windows. And I think that's another really nice thing to go on here as well. On top of that, one of the biggest features we have now within Mac OS Sequoia and our M4 Max is basically Apple Intelligence. So in order to enable this, what you're going to want to do is you want to click on the top left, so the Apple logo right up here, and you want to click on System Settings. So you want to click System Settings right over here, and then you're going to see a new feature or new option right here that says something like Apple Intelligence. Now, if it's missing, like how it's missing for me, you might actually have to go through and essentially update your Mac. So click on software update, you might want to go and see if there's an update available for your Mac. And that's another thing I'd recommend doing as well. Go through as soon as you buy one of these particular Macs, just go through and update it as soon as you buy it. What that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and basically give you all those cool features that are basically you know, available for this Mac OS version. So you do have to be on Mac OS, like I said before, Sequoia 15.1. But your device does support, you know, Apple intelligence as soon as you buy it. You just have to go through and update it. So that is one of the most important things I recommend doing. Apple intelligence is a really, really awesome feature. If it's missing on your device, just go through, update your Mac as soon as you buy it. And that's going to be another very important thing that I'd recommend doing right out the gate as soon as you buy it. Because that's going to unlock so many cool features. I already have like 10 videos on Apple intelligence, but that's another really awesome thing I'd recommend checking out as well. Now, on top of all those things, another very important application that just came out on your M4 Max as well is the password application. So what the password application does is it basically houses all of your passwords on your device. So right next to the iPhone mirroring application, you have that passwords application. So what you can do is you can tap on passwords and this will basically house this particular application will house all of the passwords that you basically have inside of your device. So once again, that is a very important thing to keep in mind here because this particular application, the passwords are not saved in Safari anymore. They're not saved inside of your settings application anymore. They are saved inside of the passwords application. So if you're somebody who's actually used to going inside and like modifying your passwords all the time or whatever, well, this is the application you're probably going to want to get used to going into because that is the app that's going to allow you to essentially change your password whenever you want to or wherever you feel you want to. So. That's another thing. And finally, like I said before, inside of the system settings, there's a lot of cool things that you can modify and mess around with. Under displays, you can always go through and change a lot of your display options and everything like that. Under appearance, this is another really cool thing where you can go through and change whether you like light mode or dark mode or any of these other options too, which is really, really cool. So that is something that's really nice. You can change it into dark mode, auto, you can change the accent colors as well, which is nice. And you can also even change the allow wallpaper uh, tinting in Windows as well. So those are pretty much my favorite tricks and tips to kind of think about with your M4 Max that you just bought. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have any other tricks or anything like that you enjoy using on your Macs, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.